Hey folks, Engineer 775 wanting to cover again one of the most overlooked preps. How are you going to make hot water? Here's another way for you that I think is pretty cool, pretty hot, and that is using solar panels directly. I got them wired in series, and um, they have four, uh, four of them wired. We're at the end of the day now, so it's pretty shady, so I couldn't uh, get a good amperage reading on it. But I'm getting 600 uh, to 700 watts into that element heating water for about four or five hours so just took a regular water heater this could be a great preheater before your existing water heater and i just wired it directly again the panels wired in series and then wired right into the top of the water heater but there are other ways to do this we could put a another element in here that has a built-in thermostat so we could leave the top element connected to the grid in case the solar can't pull the load all that day but the neat thing about this, folks, is solar keeps coming down in price. And so there's no wood, there's no labor, there's just making the connections, getting the right elements, putting this thing together, and you've got hot water. At least, I think a preheater tank would be great. If this tank was placed where it could circulate the hot water from it into your main water heater, then this would be a great preheating system for anyone. And that's what I'm looking forward to putting in. So your domestic water, your water would come into this tank first. If it was hot, then it would be circulated into the other tank. And um, so it's a great way during the day to take advantage of solar energy to heat water and have it. You know, a lot of the new water heaters are so well insulated that if you heat it during the day, you know, next day you're still going to be able to take a nice hot shower. So um, consider this as an alternative to uh, your hot water needs using solar panels direct just just wired in series just have them looped in series nothing fancy um, but the cool thing is no inverters just MC4 connectors connected together I know this is kind of crude here but we're just testing just got it wire nutted together but I was using these four panels to make scalding hot water and it does it does work now my panels are in the shade so I can't really tell you Right now, what I'm doing for amps, let's see, if you might get any reading. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I'm down, way down, because the panels are shaded, but um, I was, uh, so a little over 3 amps at, uh, I think it was 50 or 60 volts. So, you know, I'm not even putting maybe 200 watts of energy, but I'm still putting 200 watts an hour of energy into the water. It's done most of its heating. Like I said, I left this morning, um, and I just came back and tested it, but the panels are, three out of the four are almost completely shaded, so that's not a fair test now. But it will. It was making six to 700 watts. It was 26 degrees here this morning, so that tank was cold, the water was cold, and right now it'll burn you. So um, that's nice, it made 40 gallons while I was away. Of really hot water so I can't keep I cannot keep my hand in that well I can a little while that, that's starting to really burn so nice a lot of water without doing anything but wiring solar panels in series and hooking it to the element again we could take that element out replace it with a DC element they make some DC elements with external thermostats directly on that that's kind of what I want to do next so that I can wire my solar panels to the bottom element the grid or generator can be wired to the top element so I have a backup there and I have two ways of heating or three ways of heating water and one's doing it for free after you make your solar panel investment okay engineer 775 signing off okay not a very good test I have two out of the four panels are in shade right now we have about 62 volts going to the element before it was closer to 100. So um, anyway, I just want to show you that I am reading voltage off of that, of around 60 volts. And what are we doing for amps? Get in here with my meter. And bear with me here. So we're doing right polarity here there we go sorry about that um, so 5 5.4 but again this is uh, towards the end of my test uh, so 5 times 
60. It's about 300 watts going um, into into the water heater.